duke fish run more like duke fish gone Ooh, that boy is lucky can we one tap the second phase it also has a giant sprite when you throw it on the floor hey yo everyone welcome back to another terraria video we are back with everyone's favorite series can terraria bosses survive blank weapon and you know we've seen some strong weapons in this we've seen the infinity gauntlet we've seen the true copper short sword we've seen the toma manipulation lots of tough weapons and it takes me a while to find weapons for the series because i'm looking for weapons that legit insta kill not weapons that do a lot of damage and can kill a boss after a couple hits we're talking about weapons that insta kill and today's weapon is the ko sword from the ko sword parentheses insta kill weapon parentheses mod now if you have a name like this and you can't insta kill your mod should be removed plain and simple it says enough damage to one shot a dungeon guardian almost 900 times over let's put it to the test this has a lot of resemblance to the uh the op rainbow sword we checked out whenever we checked that out however many months might have been like a year ago at this point but yeah you know how it is let's go ahead let's start with the vanilla bosses and then we'll put some modded bosses to the test let's get to it let us go ahead and start with the king slime of course see you later i expect one hit and for it to be all over looking pretty good so far that's a big number that's the type of numbers we like to see in these videos next up let's go ahead and summon in the eye i gotta make a nighttime there you go it's nighttime let me just light the area up a little bit boom here's the eye bye there's the eye well not really he's dead next up we could go ahead and just uh knock skeletron out of the way here i don't know what did i hit right there i gotta turn enemy spawns off because i think i'm hitting them on accident but i kind of want to hit one of his hands just to see okay yeah we can one hit his hands now what about him yes sir of course let us go ahead and try the brain of cthulhu now the brain of cthulhu has multiple enemies you gotta kill before you can fight it but i think if we get like one good slash we can hit all the enemies and the brain of cthulhu at the same time Let, let's see let's see right here okay so we can only hit a certain amount of enemies with the sword it looks like uh but we'll go ahead and kill all of them all right go ahead see you later let's go ahead and say hello to the queen bee really quick and then briefly say goodbye next up we're at this little corruption island thanks to the calamity mod because i don't actually have corruption on this world let us spawn in the eater which the eater for some reason is not in the boss's section of cheat sheet who knows why he's just in the regular section but here we go one tap question mark absolutely not you know why it's because he's got multiple segments now we have this question every time we do a video like this does this count as one tap we are like one tapping the segments if you think about it but the boss as a whole is obviously not getting one tapped but at the same time i feel like there's some weapons we have done that have insta killed worm bosses no matter the segments or just seg segmented bosses in general before i forget let's go ahead and do the dungeon guardian boom dungeon guardian hey this sword says it's enough damage to one shot a dungeon guardian almost 900 times over so this shouldn't um do i have a mod in here that's possibly buffing the dungeon guardian i honestly have no clue i thought it said it one tap what's that that's not a one tap okay interesting i'm thinking that i have a mod in here that might be messing up something but uh, i don't know man let us go ahead and see the wall of flesh here Okay, yeah, it was just straight up one tap. I, I was wondering if it was going to be a straight up one tap or what. Because the wall of flesh does have a couple of pieces on there that we can hit on accident. All right, it is time to do the mech trio here. So let's go ahead. Let's pop in the twins. One tap him. One tap him. And then let's go ahead and see my boy Skeletron Prime here. I want to see if we can one tap his hands. Yep. And we can one tap him. And last but not least, the destroyer. Oh, we actually one tapped him i don't know if it's because all the segments are together or what or if, you know the destroyer the destroyer is a little different than the eater of worlds uh, in terms of the destroyer doesn't break up into pieces but i swear in the past we've had the destroyer survive one taps all right let's go ahead and check out plantera will plantera go into its second form let's see absolutely not next up we got my boy the golem here uh he still sucks in 1.4 <laughs> but let's go ahead and see if we one tap him oh we hit both of his hands first so he's a, he's a boss that we gotta we gotta hit off his segments first but there you go he goes bye bye we should try it try it again just to see maybe it was a whiff 
Oh, I got him in one swing that time. See, that makes me curious now. Like, was there other bosses we could have killed in one swing? All right, let's go ahead and see my boy here, the Duke. Duke Fish Ron, more like Duke Fish Gone. All right, we're kind of getting to like uh, some mini bosses here, uh, aka, you know, the Martian Saucer. Oh, look, we didn't one tap the Martian Saucer unless it was a bad swing. Boom. We got to try it again because I don't know. I was reluctant on the boom. Okay, so yeah, this one does take multiple swings. This one taking a lot more swings this time, holy. Let us go ahead and see bosses like uh, Betsy and stuff. I don't know how well these dudes are gonna spawn in. Can I just spawn them in like this? Does this work? Yes, it does. Let's go ahead and see the Dark Mage. I'm spawning in the higher health version to make sure that, you know, the higher health ones can get one tapped. And last but not least, Betsy herself. See you later. If you guys are noticing a lot of pink blocks on this world, it's because I have a lot of mods uninstalled that I originally had installed on this world. This is a world I've been using for like the last like year or two at this point. So there's bound to be a couple things missing. Like I think all the calamity stuff over here is just gone. Even right here too. Even right here too. It just all vanished at some point. Let's go ahead and see the flying Dutchman here, which is a boss with multiple parts to hit. Okay, can only hit him one at a time, but the boss still does get one tapped. The day I'm recording this is Halloween, and I think I'm also going to post it on Halloween. So happy Halloween to everyone. Let's fight the Halloween bosses. Probably should do it at nighttime. All right, here we go. This should be a little bit better. And last but not least from the Halloween event, the morning wood. And you know, Christmas is right around the corner. So let's say hello to these guys. The beautiful sand tank. See you later. And last but not least from the Christmas event, the Ice Queen. We're here with the boys, so you already know what's about to happen. Let me see if I can kill all four of them with one swing. Right here? Ooh, that boy is lucky. Let us kill the lunatic cultist here. I'm going to get him right when he spawns. Come on. Ooh. And now we have to kill all the pillars, and I don't have the mod installed where I can insta-kill the pillars. So I got to go install that mod. All right, let us go ahead and kill the pillar here. Uh, actually, I need at least one enemy to spawn in uh, because this one enemy should break the pillar, right? Let's see. Yes, sir. See you later. Okay, I teleport to the other pillar, and I cannot see anything. And see you later. No, I'm starting to think I need a new catchphrase when I kill bosses. Let's try some new things, all right? ka -chow. I don't know how you got how you guys feel about that one. I don't know about that one. Hit him with a kerplunk. Nah, that 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 one's definitely not it. Maybe I'll just stick with the, the the bing bada boom. You know what I'm saying? Okay, as we wait for the moon lord to spawn, I'm gonna go like run a mile because that's how long it takes. I could probably do all my taxes by the time the moon lord spawns in. I could probably have a child and raise him till he's 18. I could probably carry in all the groceries by the time the moon lord spawns in. All right, he finally decided to join. What's up, bro? I bet one good slice could hit all three of his body parts. I want to be careful here. I want to hit his eye, but I don't want to hit his core on accident. There we go. And see you later. And there you go. Those are all the vanilla bosses. I'm not going to do the uh, Consolaria bosses uh, because I don't have the mod installed. And I'm very close to crashing my team mod loader because I'm running out of memory. But yeah, let us go ahead and get on to the Calamity and Thorium bosses. All right, next up on our list here, we got Abyssion. Fully armored, enraged Abyssion. Dude has tough armor. Can we kill him? Oh, I feel like this happens a lot with Abyssion. He goes to one health. It seems like he definitely has a damage cap, and that damage cap stops him exactly at one health. Now, what I'm interested in is if we spawn in this version, the, the version without the shell, does he stop at one health? No, he doesn't. Very, very interesting. So next up, we have the Primordials. This Thorium boss had its name changed. I think they were just called Ragnarok or something like that before, uh, but they got their name changed ever since. Let me go ahead and make it nighttime here. Hopefully you guys can see. It's time. These guys might be completely changed too since the last time I fought them. See you later. Okay. 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 <laughs> it's looking pretty good so far, and I'm pretty sure this is a one tap. Unlike Abyssion, it just has a whole animation it does. Yeah, so that was a one tap. It just has to go through that animation. Honestly, it seemed like that boss looked a lot easier to to kill. I remember before we had to kill like multiple phases. And maybe I'm just not remembering correctly. But yeah, next up, we're getting into the uh, harder Calamity bosses. Uh, I'm going to do Yarn first, I guess, since I teleported over here. All right. Now, this is where we get to the true one tap test. And so far, it's not looking good. Come on. Get out of that invent state. Oh, it's not. These aren't one taps, bro. These aren't one taps anymore. Yarin definitely has his damage cap shown. So it looks like the calamity bosses are going to be what stops the one tap spree. Even though there was a couple bosses in here and there that uh, kind of stopped it. But this thing legit is not dying. Okay, we're going into phase two. Maybe phase two we can one tap. 
Now I'm looking at this boss fight and I'm thinking about the Calamity Summoner playthrough. This looks like something I don't feel like fighting anymore. But let's see, can we one tap the second phase? Oh, we can? All right, very interesting. All right, let us go ahead and see my boy, Devourer of Gods. What's, what's popping? It's been a minute since I've seen him. Now I wonder, can I hit his body? No. <laughs> can I hit his head? Maybe, I don't know, I couldn't tell. Tail? 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 Can I hit his tail? <laughs> Am I getting a hit in there? I can't tell. I, I think we are hitting it, but it's just not working. The damage cap is definitely stopping us here. All right, I guess we're just going to have to see the second form. Okay, second form. Can I hit it anywhere? No. Hit it in its tail, I guess. Boom. No? Still no one tap even on the tail? What about the head? His head has to come over here at some point. I'll be swinging, though. Okay. And we can't one tap dog at all. All right, before we finish this off by fighting Supreme Cal, we got to see about the Eidolon Worm. Because, you know, the Eidolon Worm is just tradition. And the reason why I'm doing it first instead of Supreme Cal is because if I don't kill Supreme Cal, I got to leave the world. But let's see here. I don't remember which one is which. I think this is the, the, the adult one. All right, let's see. Absolutely not. I don't even think. Wait, is it the head? No, absolutely not. Cannot one tap it. Mm. All right, we are back after the crash. Let's go ahead summon the supreme cow i feel like we already know the answer to this i'm gonna hit him with some jukes though look at, look at the jukes oh you know get some practice in here for when i totally even get a fight it during the summoner series wink wink i don't skip this boss every time wink wink all right can't kill the sepulcher or sepulcher however the fuck you pronounce it can't kill the little balls okay so i guess let's, let's break all the balls and then now let's see if it one taps supreme cow come here she, she's kind of hard to hit what the fuck i gotta hit her one of one of these you ready she, she's sneaky. She's sneaky. Come here. Okay. We absolutely do not one tap Supreme Cow. <laughs> All right. So the KO Sword parentheses insta kill weapon does not insta kill all of the test subjects we had today. Uh, it also has a giant sprite when you throw it on the floor. Yeah, it did not insta kill everything. So I don't know. It also didn't insta kill the dungeon guardian which is super sus extremely sus why didn't it do that i don't know i think i'm gonna uninstall the calamity mod and then spawn in the dungeon guardian again and see if it insta kills because like come on it says it does enough damage to one shot a dungeon guardian almost 900 times over if it can't do that part then what the hell is the point of making it i have generated a whole new world for this so we're getting like a straight up fresh dungeon guardian calamity mods also uninstalled if this does not kill the dungeon guardian then the mod should be taken off to mod loader all right let's go let's find the dungeon guardian i'm getting pretty pretty deep in here bro where the hell is the dungeon guardian i'm on the, i'm damn near inside where's the dungeon guardian is it because i have uh, enemies turned off okay there you go hey what's up boys oh it is one tapping though so was the calamity mod messing with something i don't know let me get out of here because i feel like it also could have been maybe the one i spawned from cheat sheet was a stronger let's see boom the same one no so the calamity mod was definitely messing with something as always but yeah there you go i hope you guys enjoyed the video we're back in the series leave some suggestions for op weapons like this i feel like i've said it in the previous videos of this series it's kind of hard to find weapons that quote unquote insta kill but yeah follow my twitch please